Now, speaking of things that are sticky, at my last stop in Ferndale, I discovered that you can do a lot more with honey than just spread it on toast. Brad and Carrie Dahlhofer and their partners at the Bee Nectar Meadery are making mead where no mead's been made before. I told a friend I was coming here to taste some mead, and he said, oh, it's awesome. And then he asked me what mead was, and I, I told him I didn't know because I don't, what is mead exactly? Mead is uh, alcohol made from fermenting honey. It's thought to be one of the oldest alcohols uh, known to man. How did you get into making mead? I started off brewing beer. Um, oh. I turned 21, started drinking beer, then started drinking a little better beer. A friend of mine was working at a homebrew supply shop, said, you know, you can make this yourself and it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, well, once you get into that hobby, it's not really cheaper, but, you know, it gave me an opportunity to try a lot of different styles, dark beers, light beers, stouts, you know, that type of thing. And in the back of the book, there was a section on mead. And so I'm like, oh, one day I'll get around to it. Honey's expensive. I'm going to try all these beer f beers first. But uh, eventually I did, and it was horrible. <laughs> At least you're admitting it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it was, just, it was the worst thing ever. And I'm thinking, well, I'm not that bad of a brewer, so... You know, being the, the geek I am, I just started researching uh, how to make it better. And from those humble beginnings, Brad not only learned how to make it better, but in just three years, Bean Nectar has gone from a part-time pastime to a full-time success. As a home brewer, we were already making pretty cutting edge type of things at home. And after my wife got laid off, she's drinking some of that and going, you know, I don't want to get another job. Let's, let's sell this stuff. There's nothing out there commercially like it. So with a positive attitude, Brad and Carrie turned adversity into opportunity, or in this case, honey into mead, for another great Michigan success story. When we opened, we just started becoming pretty popular in the home brewing circles because of the types of stuff that we were doing. Um, it's why we've been able to grow as quickly as we have. What's it like doing business in Ferndale? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, the first thing that we noticed was the city was so willing to help us out. And we were nothing. I mean, we were financing the business on our credit cards, but I still got the same smiles, the same willingness to help. It was just so welcoming to come here to Ferndale. And it seems like a lot of small businesses uh, are, are moving in, trying to start up like wild ideas like mead making. You know, it, it's such a great place for kind of that grassroots movement. Now, if you happen to be in Ferndale on any given Friday night or Saturday afternoon, you can stop by Bean Nectar for one of their open to the public tastings. One thing I love about this meat is the, the story of the guys. I, I think it's a great story, but the, the drink itself, it's just, uh, it's fun. Especially all the different things that they can do with it. I mean, it's not just honey wine. It's, right. They've got the, the hops and all the different additions they do too. It's pretty nice. Yeah, very, very cool stuff. Do you like it too? I do, I love it. Really? Would you buy me some? Um, maybe. Oh, <laughs> is that a yes or no? The night we were there just happened to be the premiere of their newest mead called Evil Genius. Partner and brewmeister Paul Zimmerman helped develop this new concoction. Are you evil? Uh, no. Are you a genius? I am. Okay, just checking that. <laughs> okay, then it works. Now, what is in here? Um, this is basically a traditional mead, yeah. and we ferment it out to dryness, and we stabilize it so that we can back sweeten it, because we want it sweet. Um, and then we added hops to it. So that's basically all it is. It's just a traditional mead with hops in it. You are a genius because I didn't understand <laughs> any of that. I'm gonna taste it anyway. Well, I've been doing this for a little while. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Thank you. I gotta tell you, I became an instant fan of the Bean Nectar Meadery. If you're looking for an absolutely unique taste experience, you should definitely come check them out. And if you're looking for a vibrant and energetic city that'll make you feel like you belong to something different and special, Ferndale's got your number. And heck, I may have even found a new co-host here. So what do you think of our meat? Actually, I just want to tell you, nice mustache, dude. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>